My two-minute conviction today is we need to lead with love. Love, the great mystery of the human condition. Poets and, and songwriters have written about this for millennia. And it's a good question to ask, is love even appropriate in the workplace? At Back in Motion, where I led a physiotherapy health group for 22 years, we had it in our vision statement. We wanted to be the most loved and trusted brand in healthcare. We also wanted our people to love what they did and love who they do it with. So for me, love is an essential part of our leadership. If you read the Bible, you know God is love. 1 Corinthians 13 is the famous chapter you hear read out at weddings where it talks about the attributes of love in any human relationship. And where else could that be more needed than in leadership? So I think of love as more than emotion. It's a decision. It's an intention. Uh, it's the virtue of human kindness, compassion, and affection. It's where unselfish, loyal, benevolent concern for another's good uh, and best interests comes to bear. And so with that in mind, here are three suggestions on how we can lead with love. Number one, think about the other's needs first. Okay, let's be really unselfish. The golden rule says treat others as you want to be treated. I reckon we should upgrade it to the platinum rule, treat others as how they want to be treated. So check their needs first. Number two, check our motivation. Pride, ego, selfish ambition, financial gain can be all things that influence the way we lead. And even if you do good in your leadership, if your intentions aren't noble, then it's going to be less effective leadership. And thirdly, when all else fails, show mercy and kindness. That, that They are just go-to strategies in our leadership that help love to prevail. Without love, our leadership is inferior. It's less noble. I think it's less effective. It's my two-minute conviction. Have a great week as you lead with love.